Today, we're talking about how to clean a wound, not just any way, but the way that actually helps it heal. By the end of this video, you'll know what to use, what to avoid, and how to make smart choices that protect the wound and support recovery. Most people think, got a cut? Pour on some hydrogen peroxide. It fizzes, it foams, and it feels like it's working. But here's the twist. What feels helpful can sometimes slow things down. Let's talk about what really works and why. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Voltaire, a wound care physician. I've seen wounds that looked clean but weren't healing because we were using the wrong tools. But when we clean the right way, it's like giving the wound room to breathe. If you've ever looked at a wound and thought, is this okay? Am I cleaning it right? You're not alone and you don't need a whole supply closet or fancy sprays. Let's keep it simple and real. Here's what we'll cover today. What not to use, including some old school myths, the safest, simplest cleaning options, when to step things up with hypochlorous acid, and a real case of how better cleaning changed a wound's course. And at the end, I'll share my own three-step rinse routine I use daily. Stick around because this one step can make a big difference. Cleaning a wound sounds basic, like brushing your teeth or washing your hands, but it's actually one of the most important and most misunderstood parts of wound care. When we clean a wound, we're not just washing away dirt. We're clearing out bacteria, bits of dead tissue, and fluid that might slow healing. But too much scrubbing, too harsh of a product, that can actually hurt the new cells trying to grow. Therefore, we need to be gentle and smart, not aggressive. Let's clear up a few myths. Hydrogen peroxide. Yes, it bubbles. No, it doesn't help healing. That fizz you see is oxygen reacting with tissue, and it kills not just bacteria, but healthy cells too. Iodine, full strength. Betadine is good at killing germs, but harsh on tissue. They're okay for intact skin like prepping before surgery, but not open wounds. Alcohol is ouch. It burns and it dries out the wound. It damages the skin barrier and delays repair. So what should you reach for instead? The gold standard is normal saline. Good old sterile saline is still one of the best options we have. It's gentle, it rinses debris, and it doesn't interfere with healing. If you're caring for a wound at home, you can even make a version using cooled boiled water and a pinch of salt. Use enough to rinse away what you see. It's not about scrubbing, it's about letting the fluid do the work. Now, if the wound isn't healing or if there's concern about biofilm or bacteria, that's when I might reach for hypochlorous acid. That's what's inside products like Vosh. Here's the cool part. Hypochlorous acid is a weak acid your white blood cells actually make. It's part of your, your body's natural defense. It kills bacteria, but it's gentle on human tissue. Studies including a 2022 review in wounds have shown that hypochlorous acid can reduce bacteria in wounds and help promote healing. Clinics use it every day for chronic wounds that just aren't progressing. Let's make it practical. Use saline when the wound is healing, not infected or early in the process. So think surgical sites, fresh abrasions, or lightly draining ulcers. Use Vosh, hypochlorous acid, when the wound has yellow sloth that won't budge, there's odor or delayed healing. You suspect mild infection or colonization. But remember, if a wound is looking worse quickly, is deep, or if the patient is sick, don't try to manage it alone. Call in a wound care provider or a primary care doc. Let me tell you about a patient, Miss R. She had a diabetic foot ulcer. It wasn't infected, but it wasn't healing. We had been using saline for weeks. It helped, but progress was slow. So we switched to Vosh twice a day. That's all. No antibiotics, no new dressing system. Within two weeks, the wound bed looked healthier, brighter, red granulation tissue as well, and no more odor. Why? Because the Vosh helped break down biofilm and reduce bacterial load without harming healing cells. Sometimes it's not about doing more, it's about doing smarter. Have you ever cleaned a wound and wondered, did I help or did I just mess things up? You're not the only one. That question is a good one. It means you care. And when you know what to use and why, you can clean with confidence. Not overdo it, not skip it. Just support the body where it is. Here is my three-step wound cleaning routine. Rinse gently with saline or Vosh until the wound looks visibly clean. Dry the edges carefully with gauze. Don't rub the wound bed. Apply your dressing. Choose something that matches the drainage level. And that's it. Simple, safe, consistent, and it respects the wound's process. We started by saying hydrogen peroxide feels helpful, but can be harmful. That's the big idea here. Just because something looks active doesn't mean it's helping. When we clean a wound well, gently and thoughtfully, we're not just removing dirt. We're saying to the body, I see what you're doing and I'm here to help. That small shift can change everything. 
Thanks for watching. If this video helped, check out my next one on how to care for the skin around the wound, because healing doesn't happen in a vacuum. It needs strong edges too. Stay informed and heal well.